my people so the matter with the ground right now no now the fact say the people who visited olori naomi's church yes all those women who went there to plant charms and other things at olori naomi's church naomi has taken an action with them and this time around the action naomi has taken is to involve the police yes because naomi at this point she is beginning to be quite skeptical about issues she doesn't want to get too involved that is naomi for you she doesn't want to get too involved but at the same time naomi one knows her rights and she wants to live by that right that is what we are noticing right now because at first when naomi saw this woman she caught them it was no big deal to her until she got to know that they were sent who sent them nobody wants to talk so naomi would want to know who exactly is her enemy who exactly is her friend so she has gotten the police involved on this matter and possibly this woman should speak any moment from now on who sent them to you know go plant charms in the lower naomi's church in akure so my people oh, you'll be wondering you know some days ago um it came to our notice how some persons some persons sent some persons to go plant charms um at a lower naomi's church in akure and you know with all of these things put together you would get to understand that that Olui Naomi has absolutely done nothing wrong to this woman yet fighting her has become their top priority yes Naomi has done nothing Naomi is just that one sweet soul she's just that one amazing person that we know yes but lately these women have been patronizing Naomi's church so much even to a point that um uh, Toby had to go there, make confession. Miriam has been there. Ronke has been there. Almost everybody has been there for the person's selfish reason or the other. Everybody has a reason to go there or something. And right now, it has become a thing. Yes, it has become a thing that some persons were sent to go to, to go um, plant charm in the Louis Naomi's church. Remember, oh, Naomi was still the same person who brought people into the palace to come destroy charms that these women had left there. So Naomi is not ignorant at the fact that these women always have something to plant or any other thing. Because when the guard came out, the driver of Miriam came out to say one or two things concerning Miriam's uh, charm involvement with Babalawo and the rest. It was more like a joke. Yes, nobody wanted to believe it. Everybody was on an opinion that, ah, why are they always exaggerating? Why is it always Miriam? Why is it always Miriam? And you know, subsequently, it became like Miriam was even being accused. Yes, that is how it became. Like they were accusing Miriam or something. But if you would also want to understand this thing in a very broad manner, you would get to know that nobody is accusing Miriam. Yes, nobody is accusing Miriam. This whole thing is just a matter of it's just a matter of Miriam is doing all of these things and people are seeing it. Yes, people are seeing it. And the more people see these things, the more you give them a warrant to talk. The more they have the leverage to, to you know, say whatever it is that they ought to say. So right now, you know, the people have now seen it categorically that Miriam is someone who is so, so involved with charms, Babalawo and the rest. And they began what? Bringing it out. But... All her supporters were feeling like we are dragging Miriam, we are making Miriam look like a bad person, we are making Miriam look like this, we are making Miriam look like that. So everybody buckled up and stopped. So the last time that Cham was found in the Lori Naomi's quarters and Naomi was not even in the palace, everybody was asking, how did the charm get there? I could remember the 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 this thing, the if our chief priest made a statement that it can never be more than two particular persons in the palace, and that is between Miriam and Olori at the wrong care. So these people have gradually come to know the woman they only married. Yes, they have come to know them because for the if our chief priest to say that it will not be more than it cannot even be more than in any way uh uh, more than Oluria Deronke and Miriam to plant a charm, then this brings us to our preambles of it will certainly be between Miriam and Oluria Deronke that have sent someone to plant a charm in Oluria Naomi's church. 
right there in our career so right now planting a charm in naomi's church what does it help it will now destroy the god she's serving or what exactly do they hope to achieve out of it is a question that we are all asking because these women have behaved like uh, this this is this is this is the list of this is the last of it and this is what we ought to do and once we succeed in this one we have succeeded in winning and all you understand so the question there is if you have successfully planted that charm in a living naomi's church in akure then what next you people would have won you people have become the victors or what become victorious why people know this thing is beginning to be a child's play yes we might call it a child's play, but these women are damn serious. They are serious on doing whatever it is they want to do. They are serious on achieving whatever it is they feel they want to achieve. And as it is right now, no, the whole matter, it don't tie rapper. Yes, it don't tie rapper. And gradually, 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 you will come to a point of realization that now that Naomi has arrested this woman, and you know, when they finally get to speak and say that, and hey, it is this particular person that sent me, they will now be like, they are framing me up they are doing this one they just hate me they don't like me in the palace that is what we have been seeing over and over from this woman because when miriam's driver came out to say what he knew miriam made a statement that i will not sack you if i sack you now the world will believe what you have said can you can you imagine that rate of of creativity she feels if she sacks the man, the world will know that, yes, it is true, or what you have done is true. But she told the man right into his, into his face that, I will not sack you. Because if I sack you now, the world will feel that what, what you have said is true. And that was how she kept the, the man. And when the maid found the calabash that had people's pictures, apparently Naomi's pictures and other things in the palace, they were like, okay, this one too, you will not sack her. So that the world will not say anything because she found it in your room. And from there, we did not even here again what miriam had done to this woman or any single thing that happened further so my people oh, now so this matter they take be these women are not set to stop at anything and you see this move that naomi has taken it is indeed a very nice move yes it is a very nice move because if she lets this thing slide then these women will keep on doing these things more and more even when she doesn't let them slide they keep doing it they are just telling her that for us we don't have a stopping point this is our lives and we are just living it so at the end of the day only we now may just have to take pastor tibetan's words into consideration because the man once told her that this thing is no longer a child's play the earlier you wake up and realize that these women are really really fighting you the better it will be for you but only naomi is just one person who doesn't send because she knows she's not fighting anybody so what is there to be so conscious of it is not Naomi's thing. She doesn't have anything to be conscious of because she knows, she feels, and she understands the laws of life and it is not in her place to fight people whom she doesn't have any grief or any issue with. I wish their Miriam know or they understand this part. So my people right now know, we go wait, see who exactly sent this woman to plant charm in Olori Naomi's church.